Fish and Wildlife brought in clean mussels from Wigby Island, just like these we got at the market, and put them in the water here at Elliott Bay by Harbor Island over there. It means there's nothing to worry about when it comes to eating at a restaurant or buying mussels from the store. What it does mean, there's enough opioids in Elliott Bay for mussels to register for that when they're put in the water. Scientists have discovered oxycodone in mussels when testing water for contamination. So what we eat and what we excrete <laughs> goes into the Puget Sound. The Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife tests for water pollution by using clean mussels from Whidbey Island. So these are Penn Cove mussels. These mm -hmm. are the mussels that we use in our analysis. They deposit mussels into 18 locations. Three of the locations came back positive for oxycodone, two near Bremerton and in Elliott Bay. It's telling me that there's a lot of people taking oxycodone in the, you know, in the Puget Sound area. It's coming likely from the wastewater treatment plants. So after people consume oxycodone, some of it ends up in the toilet and goes into wastewater. The water gets filtered, but King County Wastewater Management tells me although their system can catch a lot of contaminants, it can't specifically filter out drugs. And opioids, antibiotics, drugs for depression, mussels are testing positive for all of it. But these are definitely chemicals that are out there in the nearshore waters, um, and, and you know they may be having an impact on the fish and the shellfish that live there. Mm -hmm. Again, people have nothing to worry about when it comes to eating mussels from a restaurant or shop because they come from clean locations. But it is another sign of what's ending up in the water and harming marine life. Fish and Wildlife tells me testing mussels for prescription drugs was a one-time study, but it will look for more funding to see what's happening to our waters over time. In Seattle, Didi Sun, Cairo 7 News.